Welcome. So in this case, what I have here is 7x minus 5 um, and 5x plus 19. And those are two angles that I have on two lines that what I'm trying to do is prove that they are parallel. So I have two lines that are being intersected by transversal. All right, And to prove that they are parallel, um, because they don't tell us they're parallel, I need to use one of our converse theorems, which could be alternate exterior angles. If alternate exterior angles are equal in measure, then we know we have parallel lines. If we have alternate interior, um, therefore then alternate interior angles that are equal in measure, then we'll have parallel lines. If we have consecutive or same side interior, then we know that we'll have parallel lines. Or if we also have corresponding angles that are equal in measure, I'm sorry, consecutive interior, that the sum of the consecutive interior angles is are supplementary, then we'll have parallel lines, or if we have corresponding angles. So we take a look at these two angles, and we say, all right, do these fall under any of these definitions? And the unfortunate thing is, well, no, they don't. Remember, when we're determining if angles are interior or exterior, we take a look at the lines that we're trying to prove parallel. If they're between the lines, then they're interior. And if they're outside the lines, then we call them exterior. All right. So obviously, we know they cannot be alternate interior angles or consecutive interior angles. right? So then we look at corresponding. Now remember, when we're talking about corresponding, corresponding means the angles are in the exact same position of their intersection of all four angles. And also, corresponding angles have one interior and one exterior angle. So therefore, corresponding is not going to work. The next one is we look at alternate exterior. So we have exterior angles, but when we're talking about alternate, what we're talking about is on alternate sides of the transversal. Therefore, if one angle is above, the other is below. If one is to the left, the other is to the right. And since these are on the same side, we don't have alternate exterior angles. So that's not going to work either. All right, so now we're kind of at a stopping point where it's like, well, what do we do then? Well, remember, there's a couple other angle definitions that we've talked about where we don't need to care about parallel lines. And we're going to use them. We're going to use those definitions to be able to uh, help us with this. And the first one, which is vertical angles. Vertical angles don't tell us if we have um, parallel lines. But what they do tell us is if we have intersecting lines, then the opposing angles are what we call vertical. And they are also equal in measure. And the other one that doesn't deal with vertical lines is a linear pair. If we have two angles that make up a line, which we call a linear pair, then those angles are supplementary. All right. So those are the two kind of very important thing, two important definitions that we need to make sure we know. Even though they don't, they're not, they're not going to tell us that we have parallel lines, but they're going to help us. And the reason being is because even though these two angles aren't a linear pair, I can use the uh, definition of uh, vertical angles to say that this angle is going to have a value of 7x minus 5, and this angle is going to have an angle of definition or a measure of 5x plus 19. So since those angles are equal in measure, I can look at these and now go back to my definition. Now I have two angles that are in the red that are interior. They're in between the two lines we're trying to determine that are parallel. So therefore, now I want to kind of open back up alternate interior or consecutive interior. And remember, alternate interior, the two angles have to be on alternating sides of the transversal. And consecutive interior or same side interior just means they're on the same side of the transversal and one next to each other. So what we notice is these two angles are what we call consecutive interior angles. All right, And now, since they're consecutive interior angles, we need to remember how do consecutive interior angles relate to each other. And remember, consecutive interior angles are supplementary. So therefore, I can write that 7x minus 5 plus 5x plus 19 equals 180 degrees. So now I can kind of eliminate the parentheses and just rewrite my like terms next to each other. Now I can combine like terms. So that becomes a 12x uh, minus 14 equals 180 plus 14. So I subtract 14, subtract 14, and I get 12x is equal to uh, 166. Now, I know this is going to be a decimal here. So I will take this, and I'll do 166 divided by 12. And that's going to give me 13.83. So x equals rounded 13.83. 
So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how we use vertical angles and consecutive interior angles to prove that the two angles are parallel. Because now, at the value of x equals 13.83, these, these two consecutive interior angles are supplementary. Therefore, by using the converse of consecutive interior angles, we have parallel lines. Thanks.